So um, Marisa Cava said, AOC on Maddo said, if Trump walks away from passing a stimulus, we are staring down the barrel of one of the largest mass evictions in American history. Um, I don't think we should make be making any political decisions when the president is in such a perilous medical state. It's really interesting. Uh, Trump's fine. He he got out. Whatever. People wanted him to die. Whatever. He's not dead. <laughs> like, get over it. He's not dead. Um, and this, this lie, is really interesting, all. though, it's because this is not just on Trump. Let's like, why do these people make me feel like I have to? I'm not defending Trump, but it's like this is like. Both parties screwed people with the CARES Act, the largest transfer of wealth now, surpassing the one that happened in 2008, the largest transfer of wealth now to the from top. the top, <laughs> but from from the bottom to the top. Exactly. Billionaires have become trillionaires. Yep. They haven't paid taxes. You talk about Trump's taxes. Well, Trump is one of many billionaires who pay uh, who don't pay any taxes. In fact, Trump pays seven hundred dollars more than Amazon pays. Let's be real here. So, I mean, it's True. just it's Good just talk. I mean, as, as angry as I am that I pay more in taxes than Donald Trump, I am still uh, angrier that the fact that we have billionaires that are exploiting the system and neither party is doing anything yep. about it. So this takes us right into the section, fam, where we're talking about this supposed Good. new stimulus stimulus. Yeah, yeah. Right. Trump said he's walking away from this COVID funding because Democrats stuffed the bill with pork. Again. 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 Right. Again. So, it's about the tax code this time, right? They want to refund yeah. they would reform the tax code right now to make a statement right there instead of just putting bill a fourth of bill that's gonna deal with the COVID crisis with getting money into people's hands to helping them with rent le- relief. Once again, it's now about the taxes. Yeah, I'll get that for you. Um, so basically, uh, initially Trump rejected it, and then he said, "Well, I have twelve hundred dollars waiting. If the Democrats will pass, like, it's just only a COVID, a COVID bill." So I'm just gonna go over a couple things here. And I want to um, talk about this when we get a chance here, because this is really interesting stuff. Because uh, we have to talk about the first Heroes Act and why it was halted up. So go ahead. So Trump tweeted, and we'll show the tweet in a minute that uh, Speaker Pelosi was not negotiating in good faith. And she said he's asked Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell to direct all his focus before the election into confirming the U.S. Supreme Court nominee, Amy uh, Coney Barrett. And he said, I have instructed my representatives to stop negotiating until after the election, when immediately after I win, we will pass a major stimulus bill that focuses on hardworking Americans and small businesses. This is what he tweeted. Uh, But I wanted to point out something. Uh, He said, I am ready to sign right now. Are you listening, Nancy? He said in a flurry of tweets Tuesday, yesterday, he also called on the Congress to immediately pr- approve $25 billion for airlines and $135 billion for the Paycheck Protection Program to help small businesses. Okay, so a lot of people are talking about how this could hurt him or, or help him, but I want to focus on the fact that it, it this is... Um, this this we are facing incoming evictions and like economists are saying this is going to be like the economy is going to literally fall um we're talking and, about a k-shaped recovery with a permanent underclass now yeah that will be exactly. injected into our society in other words no way out of it now so and um let me see i wanted to point this one particular thing up but here we are the the recovery has slowed and certain sectors uh, such as restaurants, hotels, theaters, and uh, airlines remain in bad shape, shedding jobs and asking permanent reali- uh, risking permanent realignment. Without more stimulus, economists, experts uh, expect growth will slow significantly in the final three months of the year. And they said, you're going to see quite a significant drag on growth. Gregory Daco, chief U.S. economist at Oxford Economics, a consulting firm, it would really risk a double dip recession. So, I don't care who does it, but so- something's got to happen because yeah. this shit is going to be awful. And instead, I'm not saying this is this, that Trump isn't isn't actually isn't a, you know, is is just willingly going to give money that he's been willing to help people. He hasn't. Neither has the Democratic, uh, uh, the Republican Senate either. But we can go back to the CARES Act and talk about how they could have reined it in from that moment, and they didn't. Yep. They chose not to rein it in. Yeah. They chose not to draw a line in the sand mm-hmm. right there. Ilhan Omar was on TV promoting it on uh, Amy Goodman's show, mm-hmm. talking about, I'm going to vote for this CARES Act, talking about right. all the positive things after. And as soon as it goes through, then she comes forth with a bill that says, let's right. go, let's have rent relief, let's have rent forgiveness right. and whatnot. Well, why didn't you 
draw a line in the sand there, the squad, get some people aboard we and say, we're not going to sign this CARES Act. We yep. want it to be not a voice vote. We want to put it on, on record. And, and AOC did the same thing. She went on the floor. She went. She did a little one-minute speech to the greed and whatnot. But and she didn't hold the line against yeah. it. Listen, Nancy Pelosi controls the House. Yeah. You want to vote on the floor of the House, Nancy Pelosi's in charge. Ilhan, why don't you go right to Nancy and say, put my bill on the floor for a vote? She won't do it. She, uh, Pramila Jayapal's uh, plan that was in the original CARES Act, which was a paycheck uh, pro uh, protection program to kind of help out and strengthen and lengthen the uh, the payments on your unemployment. In other words, if you get money from your employer right now, mm -hmm. eventually you get into your unemployment, kick it down the road and stuff because that employment's gonna unemployment is gonna run out, and then mm -hmm. you have to go to federal unemployment. Nancy Pelosi left it out, paycheck gate. She left it out. She said no. So she controls all these vessels, all these ways of putting stuff on the floor, and she's not doing it. So if Ilhan Omar or AOC or Rashida Tlaib or Ayanna Presley really want to pressure somebody, they should be pressuring Mama Bear to put these on the, on the, on the floor for a vote. And they would have said, listen, we're going to go against the CARES Act until you have something for rent in there. They didn't do it. But they go with the same kind of mechanism. Oh, it's just Impossible. Republicans There's bad, just Republicans bad, Republicans bad. Whatever. No, well, I mean, there they isn't. have the people. They could have put them on blast. If she wanted to go against, exactly. right now, this was a. Ch if you, you want to make a people. stance, use your power and your people and say, no, Mama Bear, you put this into the CARES Act. You let the Democrats vote for it. Yes, the Republicans vote no. They're on record. And if Donald Trump says no right. to it, that's it. But now but it, Donald Trump has the upper hand. He does because he's saying, oh, here you go. I'm ready for your bill. And and we can explain exactly what what pork is in a minute. But this is what Nancy said. She said President Trump has shown his true colors. Walking away from coronavirus relief negotiations and refusing to give help to poor children, the unemployed, and America's hardworking families. So this is what Nancy Pelosi, you know, she made a whole statement and blah, blah, blah. This is what they do. They blame each other, her and Trump. Oh, no. Yeah, no. She, they, they blame play, the Republicans. They Republicans play little, blame the Democrats. little games. That's all, that's all they do. And so we already kind of went over what Trump said, but, you know. Here's he, a tweet. <laughs> he did so many. Uh, he said she is asking for a $2.4 trillion bailout poorly run high crime Democrat states money that is in no way related to COVID-19. We made a very generous offer of $1.6 trillion. And as usual, she is not negotiating good, fa good faith. I am rejecting their request and looking to the future of our country. I've instructed my blah, blah, blah. We already read that. And uh, uh, he, he, Senator Mitch McConnell not to delay but to instead focus time on approving my outstanding nominee of U.S. Supreme Court. Our economy is doing very well. Yeah. The stock market is at record levels. Jobs and unemployment also coming back in record numbers. We are leading the world in, economy, in economic recovery. And the best is yet to come. I don't know what they gave him, but they gave him a dose He's immune of, to of, it, fam. of fantasy because... This economy is not doing very well it, at all. For the stockholders. <laughs> for the st yeah, for the billionaires, it's doing very well. But, um, you know, Trump Trump said that, and he he did make a point that about how Nancy is trying to stuff this bill. And this is what the Democrats do. They did it during the CARES Act. They made it an 800-plus page bill, stuffing it with their own pet projects. Pork is a, a reference to uh fillers that go into a bill that had absolutely nothing to do with the main ask like covid relief and it's confusing because then people have to read 800 pages to see what is going on there and then they have to decide okay no not this not that it wastes everybody's time meanwhile people are still waiting for their money that that doesn't get to them and instead of passing strict emergency legislation like strictly just covid Usually what these Democrats and Republicans do in this case, a lot of the Democrats are putting their, their pork in there is put money in there to fund their pet projects, which usually aren't even at all helpful to working yeah, people. Not related They're usually to, yeah. like real organizations, foundations, things that benefit the elite class. Yeah, the Kennedy um, Center, I think, was in the CARES Act or money yeah, for that. It's whatnot. not anything good. Yeah. So when when we talk about pork, that's what we mean. Yeah, it yeah. really delays the whole thing. Why can't we just pass legislation that is 100 percent focused on just covid relief is, you know, a few pages long. Everybody can read it, understand what's in it. Boom, bam, bam, it's yeah. done. Well, that's what on the floor. I think it was the House member, other than AOC with a the little theatrics, the House member from, uh, 
I believe it was from Maine. I forgot his name. I think it was Jared Golden or something, whatnot. He even spoke. He goes, we're given less than 24 hours to pass a bill that has 800 pages, and it looked yep. like it was written so much by lobbyists that you can drive a truck through it. Like, this lobbyist right. wrote this shit over here, and money's going to the top, and it's not even right. Uh, and he was like, I got to pass it, however, because I, I, we have to find a way to get money into people's hands. Right. But there was a lot of pork. Right. Now, the HEROES Act really had a lot of the pork and one of the big pieces of pork we talked about it once again was it had election uh it had election amendments on it in mm -hmm. other words it was trying to amend uh, a hava act which was the help america vote act uh that it was trying to uh, amend uh, a, a part a provision of that act that said that the states no longer had right to verify the signatures on mail-in ballots in other words 32 states are allowed to verify the signatures to make sure they have an existing signature and then to say look this signature here we have it it matches a good county don't have the signature, throw it out, it's no good. They threw out that legislation just because of that alone right there. The, the Republicans weren't going near it. Mitch McConnell was not going to give up his seat. He was not going to allow the Democrats to stuff the ballot box. And Donald Trump was not going to allow it to happen. Right. It had nothing to do with COVID relief finances for people and families. And therefore, they immediately shunned it. And, now, let's, not, and let's not pretend yeah. the Democrats really care about elections either. It was just a Donald Trump political move. Yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, my God. Uh, and now in this particular one, there's more pork. Now there's something yeah. about the tax code. And once again, they're going, listen, dude, we're not going to pass this thing. Just make it about COVID alone. If Nancy Pelosi had a four page bill, blank, 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 blank. And it's not only just good for the people and the members of Congress who have to vote on it and read it. It's good for the American people. Yeah. They can look at it. They can see it. They but the American people it. look into an 800 page thing. I mean, come on. It's yeah. just ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. So I just wanted to kind of just surmise this, you know, pro pro progressives unite with Pelosi and blaming Trump for the lack of a stimulus check. They failed to mention that Dem stuffed the bill with pork. That's why he rejected it. But instead of pushing simple direct relief, they'd rather put on an act and let people go hungry. Because if they were, if they really wanted to pass relief, they could literally just be like, okay, we're going to pass this. Let's, let's get a little more here. Let's fight for a little bit more. But it's just all going to be regarding COVID. Because it's not like what Trump's giving us is enough. It's not. And you should demand more. But we have a bunch of spineless Democrats that never fight. They always fold. They fold when it comes to the Supreme Court. They folded when it comes to the CARES Act. They folded when it comes to the Hero Act. They fold when every, at every turn they have been folding for, for forever. So they don't really put up a fight. They're not an opposition party to the Republican Party. They might as well be in the same party. And you just vote well, the different people in because they're pretty much the same. And so it's really frustrating when people are, are really getting evicted and it, things are going to start getting worse and worse and worse. People aren't going to be able to really make that money they're making. A lot of the restaurants that are opened right now are going to close back down because of the lack of volume, because of all the shit they've had to go through. So all of these things that are happening are going to come back and bite us right now in the ass in a, in a giant tsunami. And nobody's doing anything about it you can all play blame games and point the finger at each other but right now donald trump has the upper upper hand because he knows how to play them like like literally he knows how to play them like a flute he makes it so he's the one that's like well i i said i would pass this but you're putting all this crap in this bill so i'm yeah. waiting nancy just come on Instead of the Democrats having the upper hand, Donald Trump has the upper hand. Why do you give Donald Trump everything he needs? Like, it just doesn't make any sense to well, me. Well, you know, the the thing about it is, in the CARES Act, remember, it was like they had to play their little uh, jostling mechanisms as far as making sure they have their provisions in it, where Pelosi and Schumer wanted to make sure in the CARES Act that it had a provision that none of Donald Trump's family or sons or whatever can get, you know, can 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 uh, make money off this thing, whatnot. And then Donald Trump was wanted to make sure that he had a signature and a letter and everything that say, dear sir, I'm sending you this check in his name. So it was like these two donkey reasons they're fighting against each other. If, if in fact, you just went to Donald Trump and said, Donald Trump, I want to make sure that we can give every person that we gave 1200 to, I want to make sure we give them 2000 extend their benefits have a real moratorium on rent until we figure things out Donald Trump will say can I put my name on the checks or was that Bernie again can I put my name on the checks and they yeah. would have said yes and that would have been it <laughs> literally you would have got money because you could have fed his big ass ego beautiful to say you could put your names these, these top top beautiful checks like water Joe didn't want Joe is stupid okay but you know what I'm saying uh, that's what they could have done and we could have had our money by now but once again, Nancy Pelosi is playing games, adding pork into these yeah. bills, and that's yeah. the reason why they're not getting passed. Don't for a second think that she really cares about you. She doesn't. Because she it would also look good for Donald theatrics. Trump if he got it pulled off, too, and they don't want to make him look good coming into the election. Right. So they're using us as pawns. Yeah, as usual. Bottom line.